Welcome back to another episode of the Fat Hipster Channel. I am John, and today, as you can see by my whiteboard here that I've expertly, artistically recreated the symbol, logo, for Buffalo Wild Wings using only dry erase markers. Today, I'm going to be trying this limited time sauce on a chicken sandwich. And that sauce is called Sauce Sauce. And it's apparently named after a football player whose nickname is Sauce. And this Sauce Sauce is described as such. A smoky, sweet, and spicy barbecue sauce inspired by rookie Sauce Gardener. So it should be a buffalo sauce, not a buffalo sauce, a barbecue sauce. That is smoky, sweet, and spicy. How it is different than the regular spicy barbecue, I don't know. I'm just here to taste this and see if it tastes good, not compare it to the other sauces. Anyway, I got in a combo with a sandwich, fries, and a beverage. Of course, I got the legendary Mountain Dew flavor. This is exclusive for Buffalo Wild Wings. It's a dark berry flavored Mountain Dew. I did a review for that. Check it out. Now, here's a... I don't know if it's a menu hack because it's something that is offered at their, their website when you purchase. Anytime you get french fries from Buffalo Wild Wings, you can ask them to season it with any of their dry rub seasonings. There's desert heat. Uh, I think there's a lemon pepper. I got the salt and vinegar. You see it was stamped with salt and vinegar. Regular fries, salt and vinegar. No extra charge. Uh, you can get like chili and cheese and bacon and stuff. That's all extra charge. But the signature dry rub seasonings, you can ask to put on all the fries. I think you can put them on tater tots as well. But it doesn't cost you anything to ask for it. And If you like salt and vinegar chips, salt and vinegar fries. And mighty tasty, I might add. Anyway, let's get to the main event. The saucy chicken sandwich, which comes with just a bun and pickles. So here's that sauce sauce. It smells like a smoky barbecue. Let me just get a little taste of it. It tastes like a smoky barbecue. Amazing. I also got like a bunch of sauce just sitting in there. Maybe I'll dip my fries in. Let's go try it out on this chicken sandwich from Buffalo Wild Wings. It's actually pretty good. Um, I think this is how I would describe it. They would take a the regular barbecue sauce and mix it with kind of like their Asian zing. I don't know if you can see it here, but like some kind of like in that corner over here, it kind of just looks like a dark barbecue. But if you look over here, there's actually like a little chunks of seasoning peppers maybe red pepper flakes other things that are inside that sauce they kind of amplify it from a regular plain barbecue which is usually smooth um there's seasoning in it but the seasoning is usually so mixed that's like either like starts as a powder there's no like flakiness there's no visible vegetable seasoning things inside there. I see seeds, I see flakes. Um, definitely like especially when it thins out, it gets more of like this red color than like that rich brown from the barbecue. It 
So if you're familiar with Buffalo Wild Wings sauces, that's how I definitely subscribe, describe it. It's like their barbecue mixed with their Asian zing. Maybe the spicy barbecue. I know that this is listed as medium flavor. Um, if you go to the, the menu for Buffalo Wild Wings, they usually have their, their sauces listed in terms of hotness. And you know, the wild and the um, what's the, the pepper? The ghost pepper one? Or is it the reaper? Yeah, the ghost pepper or reaper one. Those are like those extreme ones. But uh, let's see, like if I were to go to the chicken sandwich I bought, and I view all the sauces you can choose. In mild, I have a sweet barbecue and a honey barbecue. It's interesting, they have a sweet barbecue and a honey barbecue. In medium, there's or you have Asian zing. You also have sauce sauce in medium. When you go up to hot, there's no barbecue in hot. In wild, there's no barbecue. I think it's a spicy barbecue. Maybe the sauce sauce is, is replacing the spicy barbecue. But they probably took either the sweet or the honey barbecue, mixed it with the Asian zing, and because the Asian zing is already medium, they put it in the medium section. And here's an interesting thing. If you like math. The sauce sauce is 70 calories for a serving of sauce. The Asian Zing is 90 calories, and the Sweet Barbecue is 50 calories. If you took the 90 calories and 50 calories for the Sweet Barbecue and combined them, that would be 140 calories. If you divide that in two to take the average, it would be 70 calories, which is how much the sauce sauce is. So there you go. 50-50, sweet barbecue, Asian thing. I did the math. Confirmed by math. That's a good sauce. Awesome. Admittedly, Asian Zing is and always has been one of my favorite bar Buffalo Wild Wings sauces. What is the most calorie indulgent sauce, you might ask? Well, that's lemon pepper sauce. It's 180 calories. Followed by Parmesan garlic with 130 calories. All the dry seasonings are only 5 calories each. But if you want the, if you saw a sauce where you want low calorie, See, a medium sauce is only 30. Yep, that's yours. The medium sauce is only 30 calories. Interesting. So this is a sandwich review, sauce review, and also some uh, math and diet instructional review. The sauce sauce is good. I like it. I've reviewed their chicken sandwich before, although when I review it, I just did the classic non-sauce version. It is a pretty thick piece of chicken. The breading is, is uh, crunchy, well seasoned. The, the meat is tender. Juicy and flavorful. All around goodness. And I would recommend this sandwich and the sauce. 
Go for a little wild wings. Your saucy chicken sandwich with the sauce sauce. It's a thumbs up from the fat hipster. I do recommend this. You're over in the Buffalo Wild Wings. You want to try out our new sauce. Try the sauce sauce. If you want a sandwich and some wings, definitely try out their chicken sandwich. It's worth it. They have good pickles on there as well. Do you like pickles? I will say when you order it, there's no way to ask for extra pickles. I suppose if you were in person, you could ask for extra pickles. But online, it didn't have any modifications that it could say extra. It was either yes pickles or no pickles. Anyway, that's the only small gripe I have. It's the end of this video. Like, subscribe, and for more, keep watching. Maybe it'll automatically go to another video. So don't even really have to touch any buttons. Did it happen? No? Okay, just click the next one. Anyway, bye for now.